Unit 10 is really important, all right? Before I get in there, I'd like to talk, hey, that wasn't, uh, you know, maybe your favorite song, all right? That's a band you should hear of. That's U2, one of the all-time great rock bands ever. But it's not Baby Monkey. It's not Algebra vs. Cockroach. It's not any of that garbage that Mr. Bruss and Mr. Kelly are playing, all right? I'm not going to play music to purposely annoy you like they are, all right? Uh, so whether you like it or not, at least hopefully it's a step up from that. All right, so chapter uh, chapter ten, very important. You need to really know how to do this stuff. This is gonna this is gonna carry over to geometry. This is gonna go into algebra two. For the rest of your math career, you need to know how to do this stuff. So let's get some uh, basic definitions out of the way here first. A monomial. A monomial is a number like seven. It's a variable like x. Or it's the product of a number and one or more variables. All right, we could have exponents. So like I said, a monomial could just be 10. All right, it could be 10 times x. It could be 10 times x times y to the third. All right, uh, it could just be x by itself. It could be xy. All right, it's just, that's what a monomial is. Each individual thing here. All right, uh, another thing we call these are terms. All right. So the degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of the variables in the monomial. So I'm looking for the uh, sum of the variables. All right, so do I have any variable here? No, so I could rewrite that. That could be like x to the zero, right? Because anything to the zero power is one. So 100 times one, that's, so x to the zero. So what would be the degree of this? The degree of this would be zero, all right? The sum of the exponents here, I have two variables. So the sum of these would be two plus two is four. So the degree of this would be four. Don't worry about the numbers, all right, the constants, because all that matters is the sum of the exponents of the variables, all right? Now, we don't often see two variables in this, at the same time. And in algebra one, you probably, you're, you're not gonna see it ever again, all right? But I wanted to show you to you. All right, so this one, the only exponent is 3 on the variable, so it would be degree 3. Over here, oh, I lied. You will see it again. It's right here. 1 plus 3, the uh, would be 4. Just the key here is remember, if a variable doesn't have an exponent, it's actually an exponent of 1, okay? Like, you know, like normal, most of these chapters, the first thing you have to do is talk about some, you know, basic definitions, so don't worry too much about it. Polynomial. A polynomial is a monomial or the sum of monomials, each being a term. So it's just if I have two or more monomials written together. 2x squared is a monomial, 4x is a monomial, 3 is a monomial. When I write them all together, it's a polynomial. Poly meaning many. Standard form it's, is when we write polynomials so that the exponents of the variable decrease from the left to the right. Notice up here, the degree of the first one was two, the degree of this was one, and the degree of this was zero. All your answers need to be written in standard form, two, one, zero, all right? Maybe I have three x to the third minus four x plus one. The degree here would be three, one, zero, decreasing order. The coefficient, the number attached, the number of the monomial, uh, the first term is called the leading coefficient. So up here, the leading coefficient would be three. All right, up here, the first one, the leading coefficient would be two. Once I have it in standard form, it's the number at the front. And last but not least, the degree of the polynomial. So if I wanna, uh, the degree of this monomial is three, the degree of this monomial is one, the degree of this monomial is zero. The degree of the whole polynomial is the greatest of those. So if we have it in standard form, our first monomial should be our highest, so the degree of that would be three. All right, let's try an example here. We're gonna put this in standard form, identify the degree and the leading coefficient. So I have to look for my highest exponent that's here. So I'm gonna put four x to the third. And I'm looking for my next highest, that's three x squared. And I'm looking for my next one. Will that have a 0 or a 1? Now, I have to remember this is a negative, so that's minus 4x. 
and then minus two. So that's standard form. What's the degree of this polynomial? The degree is the highest exponent, so the degree is three. And what's the leading coefficient? The leading coefficient of this is four. All right, so that's just a lot of you know definitions and things like that. <clears throat> we have some special polynomial names. A monomial is when there's just one term, like 2x. A binomial, bi meaning two, bicycle, two terms, so 2x plus five. Trinomial, tricycle has three wheels, tri uh, three terms, so maybe 2x squared plus 2x plus five. All right, three terms, trinomials. These are the ones you work with most of the time. That's why it's convenient to use them, especially binomials and trinomials. So let's identify these. Well, there's two terms. So uh, this is a binomial, and the degree is 1. Down here, I have one term, so it's a monomial, and the degree of this one is 3. Down here, I have one, two, three terms, so that's a trinomial. And the degree, the highest one, two, so the, high, the degree is two. All right? So again, lots of just what we're talking about, definition stuff that's going to help you later on. All right, so now let's talk about the real fun, the real algebra of, of this section here. We are going to add polynomials. And this is just like adding like terms. I should see you write this on your notes. Like terms means having the same variable, x or y, to the same exponent. So when I add polynomials, I'm going to add just like they are like terms. So this is one polynomial plus this is my other polynomial. I'm going to add things that are alike. So in this polynomial, I have x to the thirds. I'm going to add my x to the thirds first. I have five of them here. And I have 3x to the thirds there. 5 plus 3, that's 8x to the third. I like scribbling things out when I'm done with them so I know I don't need to go back and that I've used everything. Then, let's see, do I have thirds? I would, uh, to the third power, I'd go to the second power. Nothing to the second power here. Over here, we have 2x squared. So 2x squared plus 0 is just 2x squared. Done with that. 3, 2, 1. So let's see if I have any. I have uh, negative 3x here and positive 5x. Negative 3 plus 5 is plus 2x. All right. Now notice, um, let's finish this off. And then 2, I have just by itself plus 2. So it's just like combining like terms. Notice that when I combine the x to the thirds, the 5x to the thirds, and the 3x to the thirds, did I change the exponent? No. Don't confuse this with multiplying, all right? 2x to the third, or second times 6x to the second, all right? I now multiply 12x and I add my exponents. I'm not doing that. I'm just adding like terms. When I add like terms, the only thing that changes are the coefficients, all right? So that's adding. Now the nice thing about subtracting is subtracting is just adding, all right? The very first thing we're going to do when we subtract is distribute a negative 1. So right here, I have this problem, all right? But I want to cover up the first thing, and I'm just going to distribute this like it's a negative 1, all right? Put a negative 1 there. So I'm going to distribute everything down here like it's a negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4x to the fifth. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. Now, I'm just going to go back and do what I've done before. Combine like terms. All right. So if I'm combining like terms, I look up here. I have x to the fifth. I have 6x to the fifth plus 4x to the fifth. That's 10x to the fifth. All right, I have negative 3x. Negative 3x minus 2x, so that's a negative 5x. I'm done with those. I have no more constants, so I just write plus 5. All right? So again, when I subtract, I'm just distributing a negative 1 and then adding like terms. All right, so here we have 
subtraction, so I'm going to make that a negative 1, and addition. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute this. So this is going to become really negative 2x squared minus 4x. All right, now all I have to worry about is combining like terms. So let's see, the highest exponent we have are th to the third power. I have 5 here, and I have 1 here. 5 plus 1, that is 6x to the third. Cross it off, cross it off. Th uh, third power, I would want to go to the second power. I have negative 2x squared plus 5x squared. So negative 2 plus 5 is plus 3x squared. Last, or, uh, then I go to degree 1. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Negative 6 minus 8 is negative 14x. And then I go to all my constants, and there's only one here, so plus one. All right? All right, so I'm going to put some up there. You try these, pause the video, and then come back. All right, hopefully you paused the video and tried it out. Let's do it. Uh, I have 4m squared plus negative 3. 4 plus negative 3 is 1m squared, or just m squared. Done with it. Cross it up. Negative 1 plus 10 is 9m's. 2 plus 7 is 9. So m squared plus 9m plus 9. Down here, I'm going to distribute first. So negative 2 n to the third. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive n squared. Negative 1 times uh, 1 is negative n. Negative 1 times 12 is negative 12. When you distribute a negative 1, it just changes the sign, right? So now I look. Uh, I have squares, I have thirds. I got to do the to the third power first. Negative two n to the third is first. I have negative n squared plus n squared. Well, that's zero n squared. Do I have to write zero n squared? No, I'm not going to write it. It's canceled out. It's zero. Then I have my n's. Two n's minus one n is a positive n minus twelve. All right. Congratulations, you got through the first section of uh, chapter 9. Why don't you uh, have a little celebratory dance like uh, Elaine from Seinfeld here. All right, who's dancing? Come on, who's dancing? You want me, you want me to get it started? I'll get it started. Yeah. Fancy Moses. <laughs> 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 <laughs>